Do you know what a medieval castle, a military base, and an anthill have in common? This isn't the start of a joke. Nature invented security systems long before humans thought to dig moats around their dwellings. And if you think war is a purely human invention, let me tell you about battles that have been raging for over a hundred million years. No lunch breaks, no peace talks. Imagine a fortress, not of stone and wood, but of leaves and twigs. And it's not guarded by knights in shining armor, but by tiny creatures with acid cannons. Yes, you heard right, actual acid cannons. Guardian ants literally shoot acid at enemies. To us, it might seem like lemon juice, but in the insect world, this is a weapon of mass destruction. And you know what? These tiny warriors even have their own ranking system. Here goes a private, smaller head, modest mandibles, there's a sergeant, bigger size, stronger jaws, and this big guy? That's a major, true elite of ant special forces. Some colonies even have super majors. It's as if the Hulk decided to enlist in the ant army. But things get really interesting when army ants enter the game. Remember the Mongols under Genghis Khan? Well, compared to these ants, the Mongols were just tourists with backpacks. Army ants don't build homes, don't grow fungi, don't farm aphids. Why bother when you can just visit your neighbors, eat them, their children, their food, and move on? Oh, and here's the coolest part. These guys are almost blind. They navigate by sound like miniature Terminators. And you know what smart insects do when they approach, right? Freeze like statues. Look at this grasshopper. Seems he's watched Jurassic Park and knows T-Rex can't see stationary objects. Same story with army ants. But wait, there's more to ants' amazing abilities. There are turtle ants. And no, they don't wear colored bandanas or eat pizza. They have something better. Their heads work as doors. Imagine, enemies come to their home, and instead of a normal entrance, there's a living door made of an ant's head. Try picking that lock. It's like coming to rob a bank, but instead of a lock, there's someone's head saying, sorry, we're closed. Now hold tight, some ants can explode. Yes, like real kamikaze. Picture this, an enemy approaches, thinking they'll capture the anthill, then bam. One of the defenders just explodes, spraying everything with toxic substances. It's like if a security guard, instead of chasing a shoplifter, simply exploded. Speaking of enemies, know who else can infiltrate an anthill? Spiders. And not just any spiders, but true masters of disguise. They look like ants, move like ants, and probably even whistle ant songs. And the gods are like, hey, you look like Uncle Bob from the next apartment. Come on in. While everyone thinks it's just a slightly odd neighbor, the spider calmly steals ant larvae. But if you think only insects wage wars, you haven't heard about chimpanzees. These cute banana lovers are actually the Lannisters of the animal world. Hope you've watched Game of Thrones. They wage wars worthy of a TV series. Imagine one clan splits into two and all hell breaks loose. Four years, no joke. During this time, the northern and southern chimpanzee groups staged such a Game of Thrones that George Martin would envy. No noble duels here, just cunning ambushes, brutal executions, and cannibalism. Yes, winners literally ate the losers, like some horror movie, except this is real life. Eventually, one group completely destroyed all males of the other group. Females disappeared, probably escaped to a quieter place. Smart move. And the young were taken. And you know what? This all happened just 50 years ago. While humans were launching rockets into space and listening to the Beatles, a real War of Thrones was unfolding in African forests. Now think about it. All these wars, all these battles are happening right now as you watch this video. Somewhere, kamikaze ants are sacrificing themselves for their colony. Turtle ants are locking their doors against invading armies. And chimps? Well, better not think about what chimps are doing. And you know what's most amazing? All these creatures wage wars without Geneva Conventions, military tribunals, or peace negotiations. They have no rules except one, survival of the fittest or craftiest, or the one whose head works best as a door. So next time you see an ant going about its business, remember, it might be a special forces operator returning from a mission, or a spy behind enemy lines, or a door looking for its door frame. After all, in nature, anything's possible. As for chimpanzees, well, let's just say, next time you see them at the zoo, remember, those cute faces might hide the real Lannisters of the animal world. Only instead of the reigns of Castamere, they prefer a more 
mm, natural ways of resolving conflicts. Finally, however cruel it sounds, all these wars are part of nature's balance. They existed long before humans and will likely continue for a very long time. Because while some ants invent acid cannons, others learn to explode and others turn their heads into doors. Evolution is funny that way, either you invent something new or you become someone's lunch, and apparently exploding ants chose the most radical way to avoid the second option.